Now question 66, which of the following options correctly represents the lung conditions asthma and emphysema respectively. Now asthma is an allergic disorder in which there is histamine released causing constriction in the bronchioles and inflammation over there while emphysema is a chronic disease of smokers where the alveoli are damaged leading to decrease in the surface area for exchange. So now if we review these four options, so we will see that it is option number one which is correctly explaining asthma and emphysema respectively. So here our answer is option one. And let us move to next question 67. Question 67 match the items given in column 1 with those in column 2 and select the correct option given below. Now here tricuspid valve. Now tricuspid valve is one of the atrioventricular valve which we will find between the right atrium and the right ventricle. Then bicuspid valve or the mitral valve. Now this one is another AV valve and this is on the left side. So it is between left atrium and left ventricle. The semilunar valves these are present between right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. They are at the opening of aorta as well but since only this one is given that would be there. Now here out of the four choices given to us our answer on matching would be this first one that is we have matched A with 3, B with 1 and C with 2. So this is our correct answer that is option 1. Now let us take on the next question that is 68. Question 68 this is another match the column type question where in column 1 we are given the pulmonary volumes and capacities and in column 2 there are the values with which we have to match them. Now tidal volume is the volume which we are able to inhale and exhale without any effort and this tidal volume is 500 to 550 milliliters. Now inspiratory reserve volume is the volume of air forcefully inhaled over and above TV and this one is 2500 to 3000 ml. Expiratory reserve volume is the volume of air forcefully exhaled over and above TV and it is 1000 to 1100 ml and residual volume is that even after forceful expiration some volume of air would be left in the lungs and that is residual volume and it is 1100 to 1200 ml. So out of the four choices given to us we have the correct match with option 2. So that is our correct answer that is 2. So let us move ahead with another question 69. Now here which of the following is an amino acid derived hormone because we know that the hormones could be either derived from amino acid that means they could be biogenic amines, they could be peptides, proteins or steroids. Now here if we see these options estriol and estradiol these are estrogens which are steroid derivatives, ecdysone is an insect hormone again a steroid while epinephrine is biogenic amine which is synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine. So here our answer is epinephrine that is option 1. So let us take the next question 70. 